Okay, so let's get you situated. There we go. I don't know. Test, test. Hopefully, Audi's working. I got a new mic. Let me show you guys. I'm really proud of this mic, actually. I'm really happy I found it. Um, there it is. It's actually a lot. I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's actually a lot smaller than my old one. My old one was an old shotgun style mic, so it came out to like the lens. But this one is far back from the lens, so I can still take photos with it on. So when I'm on vacation or whatever, vlogging and taking photos, I can do that. But that's not what this is about. Um, today, the date of recording is April 28th, I think? April 28th, and I'm currently in the middle of quarantine. I'm home. I had to take finals online. I had to turn in all my work online for an SSE, so I decided, hey, I have it on my computer, why not let's make a video about most of my, my the pieces I really am proud of this year. So I have eight pieces right here, and I decided, because I've only made two videos about art school this year and last year, I made 18 videos. Um, so hey, let's throw another art school video at you guys before summer hits, and hopefully I can get out and make more videos if lockdown does end. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna switch up angles real quick, and we're gonna just start talking about my art this year. So these are my eight pieces that I really like right here. I have Why Am I Not in New York City, Ghost, Not Your Freaking Property, but it's actually Falcon, Takeout, Float Hammer, Weird Face, Abstract, and Skate. These are just like quick little names for them. I will give them proper names uh, as I'm talking about them. So let's start with Why Am I Not in New York City. So this is a piece I made entirely for my digital literacy class. Um, I had to deal with Photoshop, and as a photographer major, I already know most of Photoshop. So I decided to make this more of a passion piece, something I've been wanting to work on for a while. Um, so I did use a tablet, which I've been wanting to use for a while, so I used a tablet, and a bunch of photos I took in New York City. If you do want to see my one New York City video I managed to make, just click up here, wherever the videos pop up, I don't know where they do. Um, but yeah, this is Why Am I Not in New York City, this is the title card of the project, my phone keeps buzzing, so I'm going to throw it on my bed, so I don't look bothered by it. So this is the title card, Why Am I Not in New York City, how do I, there we go, oh, 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 I don't know how to use this. Um, and the entire project of this was to use, for me personally, to use old photographs I've had and kind of accentuate what makes them photographs, in my opinion. So these are all kind of like, can I zoom in here? There we go. All portraits. Um, and this one, you can see, because in traditional photography, uh, when you're posing males, you do want to have like hard right angles. So I kind of follow that hard straight, straight angle kind of feel for Ron, just follow his, both his jawline, and then his eyes, and his nose line, and the hairline, those hard angles, but then for females, you're supposed to have kind of like a soft, flowy kind of thing, so for Lindsay, I followed it through the ear, down the jawline, into the lips, the nose, the eyes, and then the top of the hair, kind of trailing off right there, kind of give it a nice flowy feel, and same thing with Natalie, right here, um, following through the forehead to the jawline, up into the lips, and up into the eyes, the eyebrows, the other eye, and down to the other side of the nose. Um, and that all, all those pieces were kind of just, just my own personal passion pieces. I really just had fun making because I've wanted to use a tablet and I've wanted to draw my photos before. Before I've only had a trackpad or a mouse and you can't really draw a few of those. Um, so that's that project. I really like this one. Um, and I might, now that I know where they are, I might post them to Instagram somewhere. Next piece, Ghost. So these pieces was actually my final project for my uh, medium large format class. If you want to know the difference between that, I'll make a video soon. Um, so but these pieces, I unfortunately had to shoot on digital because I'm not at the school because this was shot. Where? Shot. Where were they shot? April 11th, as you can see, I was in the middle of quarantine during, the, during then. So these were all shot on digital because I couldn't get to the school and develop them so I was back home. Um, I really wanted to capture how quarantine made me feel and how this entire thing has made me feel, which was like suffocated, ghosted, alone, all those kind of emotions all into one, one piece. Um, so I kind of want to get that kind of the emptiness feeling. I used a 11 millimeter focal length for this one, or 10 I guess. Um, so it was really wide and kind of shot up so I can really capture the trees. Um, and this was a really fun shoot because it was again just me because I was in quarantine So it felt like really back to my roots of me as a photographer, which is all just go on yourself use self timer and just Have fun um, So if you never do are a photographer in quarantine definitely try to just self timer get the app If your camera does have an app, I know the Canon app is it's a little bit laggy, but it's it's good um, 
I've had a really fun doing these, and again, most of these photos are on my Instagram, at gin.sucks. Uh, the next piece is from my darkroom photography class, not your fucking property. I kind of want to cover, like, people's idea of beauty and how other people think, oh, I could tell you what beauty is or whatever. Um, I shot this one with my girlfriend and her roommate, and it's just really fun. It just felt like I was back out shooting for the first time. It felt really fun. Um, so I incorporated a mirror and just outdoors on a college campus and just had a lot of fun shooting them. Um, these aren't actually on my Instagram because I don't like these prints of it. I can't go rescan them or anything like that. Um, but this was a lot of fun doing. And yeah. And this piece actually didn't go over well in class because of the title. Um, they were confused about that and it, it was just hard for me to explain. But I really like this piece. Um, and yeah, that's, the, that's, that's that piece. So this was shot on my on film camera, on my film, where's my film camera? I don't know where my film camera is. Those were all shot on this guy right here, this little film camera, 35 millimeter, black and white, Ilford 400 speed, HP5, this stuff. Really fun, I love film photography, I wanna get into it more. This was a piece called Takeout. So this was a giant takeout container, as you can see. Um, this symbol down here, that's home in Korean, I believe. I don't speak Korean, so I'm not sure. This is painted on with red paint, foam core, with a wooden frame and packing pants inside for the rice. With a, actually that's a table leg um, as chopsticks. And a little piece of metal I found just for the, for the bar of it. This piece was really fun. It really, this was my first really major step into sculpture arts, which really just made me like it more. So I do want to take more sculpture classes in the future, if my schedule does allow it. Um, what's this? This is a video. Um, but it, this is a really fun uh, project to do. I see there's the inside. Um, it really just like made me go into myself and like figure out who I am as an artist. How am I going to introduce my race into artistry? Um, because Asian Americans, we're a lot of things. We're, we're musical artists, we're former presidential candidates, we're just, we're, we're doctors, we're lawyers, we're just general right But finding a artist in like this kind of field is very hard for, to find for an Asian American. But this kind of just like brought it out for me and I really like this piece. Um, I do want to get more sculptural pieces. So this piece is actually holds very dear and special to my heart. Um, this was shot on medium format. Unfortunately, I do have some scratches in it that I didn't get to fix before I turn in. But this was shot on medium format, so the grains in the film and the printing is just a, this is just a lot smaller than 35 millimeter. I'll make an entire video explaining the difference, but for now, just know that they're different. Uh, they're just more clear in this. Um, so we were supposed to work with like shadows and light, and everything here is spray painted to white with only shadows causing the darkness. So like right here in the hammer, that's just a little shade over it. And right here, this is some major shade over it. Um, but this photo, actually, I do have a TikTok, which I do upload just a lot of dumb stuff to. Um, so wherever, my TikTok is the same as my YouTube, same as Instagram, Jin sucks. I uploaded a video of me making this photo and Linus with a camera, which is one of my favorite film photographers saw and he commented on it, he liked it. And that was just a good day for me. So I really like this piece to hold your special place in my heart. And I really want to just reprint it because I do have all the negatives on in that binder right there behind me. Uh, so I might scan it in and make it like a good piece. Uh, make it like a wallpaper. Weird face. So this piece, this piece was actually my first piece for my exhibition class, which is the same piece I made for my takeout container. Um, the general idea for technology and social media and like how it makes you feel. And I, I just had fun with this piece. Um, this was my first piece for the class. So I really didn't know where it was going to be for my standing for this, so I kind of just like went with whatever it felt like. Um, I, see I did spray paint just like emoticons on the on, on the screens. Uh, this is just a picture I printed out that I made myself and put behind the Apple screen. Because um, the screen was already broken, so then nothing happened. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun piece for me to make. And this is actually on the school's Instagram, so I feel like that, that means something, right? Um, but yeah, that's just a fun piece to make. Um, yeah, just, I want to go something around the lines of like social media and mental health, but I couldn't really figure out how to meld those two things, so I kind of just like did this and, oh, that, this piece. 
is one of my favorite pieces. I know I said that for every piece, but this piece, uh, I label this abstraction, the abstraction of the human body. It's amazing to me. I love this. It combines film photography with digital photography and digital editing and just abstract art and everything. I really love it. So this is actually shot on film, on color film, which if you never developed color film, it is the most pain in the butt process I've ever done in my life. Um, so this is my friend Ben. Um, his face was very washed out and as I was trying to fix that, I accidentally um, content aware that area and it came out looking like this and I loved that mistake so I kind of just, just kind of just flew with it and produced this piece um, you can definitely tell it's a human you can tell these are shoulders this is the hand right here this you kind of see the outline of a face right here with the hair and then the glasses and the chin right there ears hair but like when you first see it you really don't know what it is and I really like that um, and just like the aspect of it of you not knowing what it is and kind of having this faux border right here with the jacket coming out of it and right here too and the grid and everything I just really like the composition of this piece and I'm, I'm probably gonna make my wallpaper within the next like week or so um, I just currently have this stock Catalina one and last but not least is skate so this piece is actually hanging up on my wall right next to me right there um, but this is a local skater. I don't. I, did, I forgot to get his name. Um, but these are all old skateboards that I've either skated or have gotten from a local skate shop, Galaxy Skate Shop. Um, that I put the photos on. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I've ever made because it just felt like I was working with the community with this piece. Because I got the skateboards from the shop. I talked to the guy. Uh, I, don't, I forget his name honestly, but I've seen him around um, skating and just really fun. And actually, after quarantine's over. I'm going over to Galaxy and I'm giving this piece to them because this is so fun to make. I'm obviously going to re, um, reapply them and just, in general just make it look better, but I really like this piece. Um, this is the final piece for my darkroom class. And yeah, so obviously a lot of my pieces I have just like shown off today were from my darkroom class or from my medium large format class. Um, but I do have a poem that I'm working on right now that's actually going to be. Um, I'm hopefully going to get published in a book somewhere, or I guess a mag poll magazine up here in Toledo, Ohio. But school, 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 school. There it is. Um, let's see what else I have in here. Favorite writing? No. Dark room? No. Expedition? No. Type? No. Visual culture? No. no. Second semester. Digital lit. So that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions about Art Academy or Art School in general, feel free to leave them out in the comments. This is my second year at Art Academy, going to the third, in general having fun there. Um, so yeah, I've been talking for like 14 minutes straight. Hopefully I can turn this video out to do something good because it's my second time recording. Um, but yeah, I have nothing else to talk about. Do good, stay positive, keep vibing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully quarantine is going to be over soon so I can make fun videos. I do want to make more artsy videos, but that's a whole other topic. Thank you guys for watching. Do good, stay positive, already said that. Keep vibing it. See you guys in the next video. My creator was a creation. What innocence blanks generations. Discontinue my continuation. Silence bring forth me and my lovers and